Hey guys, so <clears throat> this is late at night me recording, which probably isn't gonna end well. <coughs> well, a while back I said that I would um upload some of this game, Midnight Club, ages ago, 20 minutes of madness, I think it's called. Um, and I thought I actually will today, so I I don't know. People are viewing, but there's no one commenting or subscribing, and I'd like you to, you know, a few people to do it, because it means that I can do stuff like votes to see who wants to see drifting and stuff, um, but that's not happening today, so today we're just going to, I'm going to show my new cars that I didn't show last time, and I've sold a lot, so this is the first one. So, in the past I had it like this, but I didn't do all the vineys on the side last time. So that's that one. I've got this Ducati, this bike, which I just did kind of as like a rallyish bike. It's heavily inspired by a Lancer, which is, I don't know why, it just came into mind. Because, rally. So, we also have a cop car, which is for future trolling videos. Uh, we have this, which I tried to make it look like my um my mum's boyfriend's car. It doesn't without no roof, but when you're in multiplayer and it does have the roof, it does kind of look like it. It has the same rims. It's white. It kind of has the same classic look, but yeah. Also, it does incredible burnouts, which is pretty true. True accurate is what I'm looking for. Um. By the way, shout out to, is it Gaming Pro or Pro Gamer? Is that one of the way around, but I might be doing a collab with him tomorrow, so expect that video sometime soon. Um, so this is a very chill back car. You just, I don't know, I just did that one out of boredom, it's kind of like a serious car. This is my sleeper, my drift sleeper. Uh, 240SX is one of my favourite cars. And they're just insanely good to drift. In fact, I'm going to quickly do something, because I realised I didn't do it. In fact, I don't know why I didn't do it. Dimensions, front. Oh, I got it. There we go. That's what I'm looking for, and in the front. That's more rear camber. I don't want more rear camber. You know what, let's just grab both of them, pop them both up. That's one of my friends. Excuse me doing this, I just felt the need to. Because don't we all? You able to bring it down anymore? No, okay, so we'll do that. This is what I like to go with for my drift setups. Because the unfortunate thing is it adds more cam camera on the rear most of the time. But what it does is is if you look it makes a gradual incline on the car. And that means all the torque at the rear will help give it more power in the back. Um, and most drift cars, like all-wheel drift, uh, all-wheel drive drift cars, like uh, the Hunicorn. By the way, the Hunicorn V2. Oh, fell in love with it. Oh, like I, I like the V1, but the V2 is amazing. But yeah, getting into some drifty stuff. My sister made this car, and her and me did a challenge, and she won. Which, fair enough, it's a pretty decent car. It's not too bad at drifting, and it doesn't look too bad, so. Then there's, oh, good. These are the things that my sister's made, these Camaros, which you can just piss off. <laughs> I ain't 
Ain't nobody got time for that. We got more rally vehicles. So again, if you want to see stuff like rally, drag racing, online trolling, stuff like that, um, just let me know. Uh, it's really late, and I feel kind of ill, so sorry if my voice sounds bad or anything like that. Only five minutes, so... I think that we'll go out with one of these cars today, and then I'll show the rest off some other time. So we've got this one, which is my drift car, my best drift car, or should I say power slide car. It's inspired by the Hoonicorn. This is... Whoa. That is one of the monster um, drift vehicles for the Gymkhana event ages ago, like I can't remember when I made this car, I can't remember when I got the game, but I like this one, I spent so much time doing the vinyls on it, as you can see, I think it paid off though, it looked good, but I also did the Lamborghini with this paint job on it, I think it's this one, just because why not, in fact I know it's this one. I think it's got, oh by the way, Suicide Squad, anyone seen that? Yeah, so this is kind of like the, the same idea, it's just colour changes. Uh, we've got Spears, go watch him, Spears the Amazing, this is uh, his car in real life, except for him, he doesn't have this, he has a Hellcat, but it's close enough. Why did I put the Dodge Vine on the side? It's supposed to be a Hellcat. We've got this, I like to call this the Ninja Turtle, and you'll see why. Green and purple. Green and purple every day, green and purple every day. Do, 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 do. Oh wow, I went through all my cars. So yeah, I think there's a couple more, like this one, which is the Suicide Squad inspired one, which I hate the looks of now, but I loved it when I made it. Which was only like a couple of weeks back because the Suicide Squad and it came a couple of weeks back so no it's been like a month now it feels like it's only been a couple of days yeah this thing's pretty silly looking Suicide Squad on the side got the Joker side exhausts bindies everywhere rocket bunny symbol got some weird colours teeth the inside's flashed out. I'm pretty sure this had neons on it, on it at some point. I like all these cars, if I'm honest. I love this car. Uh, again, go subscribe to Roadkill. This is one of the vehicles they made. They made. Yeah. They made, and man, I love the show Roadkill. Me and my mum's boyfriend watch it all the time. I'm not going to give his name out. But yeah, they made this car in it. And oh, 